And now, here's your host, D. Spencer, the Working Lady. Hey, 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 guys, I have been telling you, I've been telling you about this show that I'm in. I've been telling you guys, talking about it all the time. And then the last, uh, a week and a half ago, we had one of the characters from The Wiz on. But today, See, I've been telling you guys about this. So today I brought it. I brought the head honcho in for you guys to hear from. I'm super, super excited. We have our executive producer. She is amazing. You guys give it up for my very, very special guest. Y'all go grab some people. Hurry up. Zuri, go tag some more people. Tag some more people. Where they at? Oh, Teresa might not have power today. I know that. So you guys grab your friends. Grab your friends. Say, oh, y'all missing this. Y'all missing this. You guys give it up for my very special guest. None other than Talia Moore. Hey there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Wow. Yes. Yeah, super excited to have you here today. Yes. Yes, oh yes, it's exactly. Yes. Yeah, so listen, how's the weather where you are? It, I'm upstate New York, so it's not so bad. I mean, we're okay. used to snow, so we're, yes, we're we not, are. We are. We're not ever scared. <laughs> we have never yes. been in the snow. We exactly. Have to some you know, two two to four feet. I, I promise. You. <laughs> yes, so and not. and we have more coming our way. More coming our way for sure. Yeah. Um. But yeah, um, yeah, so now you are one of the executive producers of The Wiz on Clubhouse. How in the world did that yeah. come about? Well, I mean, it, it's kind of a, an oddball story. I'll, I'll tell you, it kind of gives you a long story short. Um, back in 2006, I was actually watching Dream Girls when it first came out in the theaters. I was home alone and the family had went on to New York City. I could say that because I was, um, I had to work. And I was in the theater and actually I, w I w went, had to go through a snowstorm and even in order to get there because it was, it was literally, um, I could say Christmas time in the middle of winter. And so I finally got there, settled in, and something was just like the whiz. You know, like I've always loved the whiz since I was a little girl, I always knew that I would kind of do something with the project. In a, in a huge way, but I never knew what it was. But when I was in the movie theater watching Dream Girls, and I heard something say, like, The Wiz, you know, I was just like, oh, okay, wow. So over the years, I mean, I, I've been writing, producing, directing um, theater shows for over now 15 years. And um, inadvertently, in between the, the shows and things that I have done, uh, I would kind of like write, you know, either a movie or, you know, start writing something on a stage play. Um, for the for the Wiz, and it just didn't quite work out. So fast forward to uh, pandemic 2020. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, I hopped on uh, Clubhouse. Uh, people have been like tagging me, like what? I'm like, what's this Clubhouse? Like, what is this? Right. So my twin sister Sharita uh, Carson, which is another executive a producer, a marketing executive, she was like, you know, I need you to get on Clubhouse. So we literally came right when they had dream girls you know uh auditions you know for for a club oh, okay. and we were on there for like i think four days straight it was crazy yeah it literally just clicked to me you know 
I was literally, you know, transported back to 2006 where I was sitting there watching Dream Girls, watching auditions of Dream Girls in Clubhouse. And after everything was said and done, I went into like a small uh, Clubhouse room and I pulled people into a, a room that said, um, what should we do next on Clubhouse for, for, um, for uh, musicals? And the first person literally said, The Wiz. And the I was on the floor. <laughs> I was floored. I was just like, wow. See, you've spoken into it. existence. Yeah. I mean, the manifestation of 2006 came all in one wallopy moment, you know? That after the the, the 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 manifestation of that from 2006 was saying you're watching Dream Girls, Dream Girls is probably going to end up being a marker for you, you going into the wit. and so it makes so much sense. But the the way it happened, you know, and the way that it's turning out, I could never imagine, right? Like we could have right. never imagined a year ago that we would be, you know, wearing masks everywhere we go. <laughs> I know like, that's crazy. You know, and it was so crazy is that when you think about it, is that sometimes the earth needs to crack in order for your purpose to go through. Right? Oh, come on now. I like if that. That makes any sense. And mm -hmm. um, so, I, like I said, I would have never imagined that audio theater, you know, would be in my repertoire. And, you know, but, but it's, giving, it's giving hope. It's giving healing. It's giving a chance to um, have actors express themselves in a way in an art form um, that is that hasn't been heard of in over you know half a century. I mean, this is fifty, right. you know, nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties before television, and mm -hmm. we're literally binge listening as if it was Netflix. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> binge so seriously, binge listening for real. Yeah. I, I'm, I am so glad that that you guys came and put this together because The Wiz is one of my favorite shows. Dream Girls is one of my favorite shows. I just feel like and and I'm I've been working in theater, doing theater, and that's really what I've been eating, drinking all this time. And then when it got taken away, it's like, oh my God. So to find Clubhouse and then to see that people are doing these shows, I'm like, oh, what? It's amazing. I came on when they did Lion King. And when I first saw Lion King advertising, I thought the original Broadway cast was going to be there doing the show. So I'm thinking, oh, OK, Broadway is going to do the Lion King. I thought they were going to sing like they did in the airport that time from the video. Mm -hmm. But no, these people came through and gave us life with this show. Mm -hmm. And um, so now from that, it's like a springboard. So many things are happening. Yeah. But I'm I'm absolutely fascinated, fascinated at everything that's going into this production from original art, mm -hmm. um, some yeah. even, did you guys do some rewriting of the script to make it fit what we're doing? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we, we actually did. Um, we, I wanted to make it a little bit more contemporary, um, a little bit more uh, modern to today's audience, as well as put a little uh, sentiment um, as it relates to Dorothy, you know? And so um, with that, we actually have um, August Wilson's niece, which is the great poet August Wilson, his mm -hmm. niece has volunteered to do um, Oz Origins for us to start mm -hmm. the show, which is amazing. You know? Oh, that's awesome. And literally, like, all of this is giving it a whole new spin, like, even with narrators and, you know, mm -hmm. even with, you know, changing up the script and, you know, it's very familiar yet new, you know. Uh, for mm -hmm. those who are going to hear. And so we're really excited about just the whole aura, right? Of right. The, the show that is definitely going to bring a whole new perspective um, to The Wiz, just as like the, the, the original Wiz from the Broadway 1975 show with Stephanie Mills to Diana Ross and, you know, Michael Jackson, 1970, you know, 1978, you know, to uh, The Wiz Live in, in, two, in 2013. So we are all... in. in and now us, the Wiz CH, um, for audio theater in 2021. So we're all chronologically telling our story as it is in our time, right? Yeah. So I'm just excited about how all that has formed and, and been shaped for us. You know? Yes, it, it's really exciting. And um, to all those people who have not gotten on Clubhouse, I know you're probably sick of us talking about it. 
Sorry for the people that still have Android, but I'm telling you, if there's a way for you to uh, get an iPhone, iPad and join in, you are not going to want to miss it because it is going to be a revolutionary experience. I'm telling you like none other. But in addition to that, just to give people a little bit of a little glimpse of what we're doing outside of there. Can you talk about the upcoming um, the upcoming? See, now I can't think what it's called. Wait. Uh, the upcoming benefit concert, the benefit that we're doing. See how to think of it. The benefit concert. Can you talk about, uh, talk a little bit about that? I'm super excited. Yeah, absolutely. The benefit concert, um, uh, it definitely is going to be showcasing um, some of our cast talent, some actual celebrities that we've connected with that has really enjoyed um, being on with us. Like I said, we have. Um, Ashlyn Cole, we have the actor Hicks, we have Chandra Covelli from Tyler Perry, we have, um, we ha- I mean, literally, uh, the number of people who are recording, you know, videos and content just to say, hey, come out, support, mm-hmm. sit in those chairs, and, you know, let's, you know, uh, see what, what this will, will do to unfold, you know, for the masses, and so we're excited about that, and it literally um, supports our uh, nonprofit organization. Mm-hmm. as well as support um, costs uh, for the production. And we're just excited about it. I mean, literally, uh, we're just saying, come out and have some fun, listen to some amazing uh, voices, some amazing acts. And, you know, uh, just say, you know, hey, if, if you love the arts, you know, support and uh, so that we can do more of this, more of the same, you know? Exactly. So that is going to be on this Friday, actually coming up. Yeah. 19th, we're going to be broadcasting a live stream concert. It's going to be actual uh, um, video stream of the, the um, different people who p- contributed to the video stream and an actual live stream in Clubhouse where we're going to have um, commentary from those folks who are supporting us on literally every single end. So it's literally just, I mean, being in the building for, for the benefit concert, you're going to say, that if this is the benefit concert, I right. the show. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. see you guys, those of you that don't have, yeah, those of you that don't have iPhones, you can still be a part of it by checking out the benefit concert. And you, you said benefit concert, and I just put the link up there. Can you talk a little bit about the the organization that it will benefit in addition to helping to um, support the production? Yes, uh, Black Girl Theater Magic is an Af- a female-led African American um, organization that uh, literally supports uh, putting African American actors into a different actor roles, and so we support that. We definitely. Um, are loving that we are keeping it within the culture um, that we're allowing, you know, not only our resources to to help with other people who have been pouring in, are going to allow other African-American actors, singers, dancers, performers of all natures to be, um, to continue in their art, you know? And so, you know, this organization was specifically voted on and and we're just proud of, uh, you know, all the things that they have done. Um, and what their mission and goals are for more art uh, for the African American community. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. That that's an awesome thing. So now how what are other ways that people can keep up with what's going on uh, with the Wiz C H? Where's where can people find it? Where can Well we're we're definitely on um, Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Um we are um, definitely, we, our website is probably the most updated information that you will find. Um, there we have all of our information for the show, the cast, our upcoming events, our marketing, um, different things that we've been involved in, all of our nonprofit organizations. Um, merch, everything is on our yes. www.thewizch.com. So definitely uh, check it out. Um, definitely get involved. Let your friends know. Share uh, the content. D is amazing. <laughs> you know, whoop, 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 whoop. Amazing. You know, it, you know, you literally uh, when you're doing something as large as this, I always say, i You know, you're, you're no one person is bigger than the show. You know, mm-hmm. and you need an army of people in order to to carry out. You know, the things that um, that you have in your heart. And, and purpose to me is everything. It breathes life 
not only in me, but in others. So I just appreciate this platform. I appreciate you, D, and everything that you're Thank doing, you. even with us from beginning to end, and how you definitely support, you know, a lot of the um, the art programs across Clubhouse and mm -hmm. um, how you're just literally in the building, you know. And, uh, <laughs> we appreciate we, we appreciate you being our village. You know? Yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm I'm excited. I, I love this kind of stuff. And you guys, she she's really kind of like being very modest. Listen, she is she works so hard. Like when when you when you get on Clubhouse and you start hearing people talking and you think, okay, yeah, they're just gonna put a show on. No, it's not just putting a show on. Yeah. This is like they they are taking things to a whole nother level. Go check out the website. When I tell you, go see the website, you're going to see what I'm talking about. You are going to be able to see that any money that's um, anything that we sell, any of uh, the benefit concert, all these things go into this. Who would think that someone would decide to do this just with the audio program? OK, so they're doing they're doing it big. And she's she's being very modest because she is a workhorse. Let me tell you, <laughs> they I don't even know how you keep up with all the details of everything that's going on. I know because of the team. So can you talk a little bit about the team that's also working with you? Shout out to our crew as well. Yes, yes. So for starters, we have my twin sister, which is amazing. I was born with my they confuse friend. me all the time because <laughs> they sound just alike. Yes. yes my Twin sister Sheree DeCarthon. She was the original casting director, um, as well. She is just the marketing, um, the marketing, as well as the um, she does publicity, basically everything behind the scenes to make sure that we look good, feel good, and everything like that. Uh, we have Angela uh, Angela Jeffrey. She's our um, executive coordinator, um, helping on the tech side as well as um, the production side. I was me helping to assist me in all areas. We have Mariah Williams, which is, was originally the cast assistant, um, the casting assistant, and now she's the stage manager, um, basically helping to coordinate all the actors um, for both teams that we have. Yes. Um, we have Dr. Lori Hicks. Oh my God. Yes. Amazing, phenomenal vocal coach, right? And uh, she's just been amazing with definitely uh, teaching not only the leads, but the supports. Um, for a vocal coaching, we have Bo uh, King, which is our music, our, our, our MD, uh, which is creating all the, the tracks from, you know, our original tracks and sound and music. So um, we have our, our, our directors. We have Stacey Malone, as well as um, Aaron. Um, mm -hmm. or, so we're, we're just, I mean, literally, like the, the crew is, is deep. <laughs> yes, so the crew deep. is deep. Yes. Uh, we uh, literally, I mean, the, 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 what we have surrounding us is just a wealth of um, knowledge and experience and talent um, that's literally trying to give the best effort and the best show. And so, yes. but yes, yes, so yes. We, have, we, we have an amazing an amazing, amazing team. And shout, I have to say shout out to Mara because Mara, she works so hard. I'm telling you, she's like on top of it. Yeah. But it takes it takes a lot also coordinating because the cast is a big cast. And it's not just one cast. We have two casts, two phenomenal casts. No cast right. is better than yeah. the other. It's phenomenal, both casts. Right. So um, how many total actors do we have in the cast? And um, how difficult is that coordinating the rehearsal schedules and all of that together? Well, we have over 30, I want to say 30 cast members between both teams, um, plus another six, six to seven um, team uh, actual people who are coordinating everybody. So we yes. have this around about, about 40. And, um, yes, <laughs> so that is we're awesome. Quite a team, we're quite a little army. <laughs> yes. So you guys, I'm telling you, when I I'm I'm gonna keep talking about the Wiz, so you might as well get ready. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna be doing some giveaways too. Um, mm -hmm. but listen, you guys, if you're not on Clubhouse, if I know a lot of people have joined Clubhouse because I've been talking about this show and beating it into everyone that they need to get on Clubhouse. So I do know some people have joined for that reason. So um, I want you guys to 
tag somebody, share this post, let people know about the Wiz Clubhouse and what are the dates? You want to let everybody know the dates of yes, the show? The dates are March the 12th and 13th, uh, 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so yeah, definitely um, we're going to have uh, basically four shows. And uh, so definitely tap into one of those shows is, is going to be phenomenal. Um, it's going to be good to hear different characters, different levels of, you know, energy from each, you know, each show, from show to show. So definitely tap in. We definitely want to hear your comments, your feedback, um, because this will allow us to understand, you know, what we can do, um, you know, this, to see how you guys are feeling. And we, we are definitely um, banking on just an amazing event, just an amazing mm -hmm. event. Yes. I want to give a shout out to my crew that's in here. What's up, Summer Carter? Thank you, Zuri J, for uh, tagging everybody in here. Um, you guys missed the first part. Don't worry. You can go back and rewind it afterwards and make sure you share it afterwards because this is phenomenal. Let me tell you guys, this this is this is phenomenal. We have we have the executive producer here. Share this. Share this. Um, hey, Monica. Hey, Gail. What's up? Thank you guys for being here. Um, so you guys, real quick, I want you to type down below. What's up, Chandra? There you are. Hey, girl. Uh, you guys type down below. Who is your favorite character from The Wiz? I know before I took a poll and people were saying the lion. No, they were saying that um, the scarecrow was their favorite character. The scarecrow. So you guys, let me know. Type down below and let us know who the favorite character is so that she can go back and let the cast know, like, OK, they're looking for you guys. OK, so type down below who you think is the, uh, who is your favorite cast member uh, from The Wiz. Let us know. We want to know. All right. Anybody you want to give a shout out to before we let you get out of here? I want to give a shout out to my husband. He's amazing. Um, He's woo, my, he's woo. Hey, husband. He's executive producer pocketbook. <laughs> 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 he's the real executive producer. Um, no, I just think that uh, I have um, I have three children, and you know it's it's a balance, right? So the shout out. I just my daughter just turned twenty one. I have really? a fifteen year old who's driving me crazy, and I have a two year old. Wait, 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 exists. wait, wait! That age gap. That age gap. It's the age yes. gap for me. Yeah, yeah, a little slip. It's the age gap for me. It, it is the age gap for me. Um, I told my husband. I mean, we've been together for over twenty three years. We we were college sweethearts. Uh, day one, uh, literally. And uh, uh, <laughs> I told my husband um, that about my fortieth birthday, I wanted to be mm -hmm. footloose and fancy free. And mm -hmm. uh, on my thirty ninth birthday, going into my fortieth birthday, I was in the Bahamas with my twin sister, uh -huh. six months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> foot loose and fancy free. You know, you you will be foot loose. Yeah. Your feet will be loose chasing after that baby. Okay, there you go. Cause he, he's two. I know you chasing all the listen, time. Listen. <laughs> Let me tell you, she, she's a blessing. We we were trying for you know over six years without success and had some heartache over the time. And we, literally when we stopped trying, the Lord said, "Up, we're ready to go." So no, she's That's a blessing. Awesome. So I, I thank thank God for um. God not giving up on my ovaries. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> but no, Thank no, you, God. Family is everything. Yes. Okay, so we got uh, Monica saying the lion, uh, Chandra saying the tin man, and Zuri is saying lion. So we got two votes for the lion so far. We got one vote for the tin man. Anybody else type below who is your favorite character from The Wiz? But yeah. Uh, type your favorite. I'm checking the other sites because there's other sites I'm on too to see <laughs> what they're saying. So, so far the lion is a favorite. So we're going to have to see if we can get the lion in here. Uh, oh my gosh. To... <laughs> I mean, Demo and, and Pierre, are they, are they are literal beasts. Like, I oh mean, my gosh. It, it's, it's definitely the lions is, is becoming my fast favorite because this, the, the different I mean, he's literally a complex cat, you know? Yes, and so yes, yes. I would definitely say that um, they're dead on with that one. They're going yes. to love the lion. 
I, I'm, I'm telling you, the last rehearsal, I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, the lion is giving me life. And the thing I love about the production is that there aren't any copycats. Like we're not seeing people copying the original characters. They're bringing their own flavor to it, but they're still giving you life with the characters. Like yes. they are doing. Yes. And the singing, oh my gosh, the singing Thank is, who is phenomenal. phenomenal, phenomenal. Now, if you if you are a singer or want to be singer or whatever, you guys go check out Dr. L hey, Candy Jen, what's up? Go check out Dr. Lori Hicks on uh, on Instagram and she does some exercises on there. And let me know how y'all do with those exercises. Mm -hmm. OK, she does vocal exercises. Uh, like I said, I think I blew out my vocal cords. Uh, <laughs> The last time I tried one, I did one yesterday, but I was like, oh, Lord. But yeah, go and try it. It's really, really good. And it's something fun to try. So if you're like, I can sing, go do those vocal warm ups. And if you're really brave, record yourself doing it and send it to me <laughs> and we'll play it on the air. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys, be sure that you don't miss and that you check out the benefit concert is going to be on Friday the 19th. What time is it going to be? And how can it's people tune into it? Mm -hmm. And how can they access it? To the, uh, yep, I'm going to the uh, clubhouse. We, we will be in the OG room. You can follow mm -hmm. uh, follow myself, Talia Moore, or anyone. D, follow D. She'll be in there. Um, or we're going to be in the OG room, which is the largest room in clubhouse. And they okay. can, can um, go and follow the clubhouse room. And then also we're going to be on uh, Facebook Live. Uh oh, she as froze. Well. So we do have a. Uh, if you look up the Wiz Ch on Clubhouse, um, there is um, on Clubhouse on Facebook. Um, <laughs> we do have a um, a page there where we're going to be going live from. So definitely, um, you know, if you Talia Moore, um, my, my picture icon is the Wiz Ch logo that D has in the background, um, and you can basically look in. There is you know, whole event page for um, the the Facebook uh, feed that's going to be happening for the benefit concert as well. Yeah. So make sure you guys <laughs> go, go like the page, go like the page on Facebook, the Wiz CH on Facebook so that you won't miss anything live that you will have a benefit of being a part of. For those that are not on Clubhouse, you can still live vicariously through us, through Facebook. Yeah. And let me tell you, they're going to make sure that they give you as much of the experience as possible. So you are uh, so that you will not miss it. OK, I'm sorry. She said yes. she can hear. She hears me, but she's quiet. OK, I'm sorry. I can hear. Her. Yeah. All right. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Yeah, now I can. Yeah. All right, you guys. So um, thank you so much. Well, I'm going to let you get out of here. I'm not going to hold you too much longer because I know you got a lot of work to do. I know you're busy, busy, busy. Um, and thank you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And we're looking forward to the Wiz on Clubhouse. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you so much. And I will see you in rehearsal. Or I'll see you in the Clubhouse streets. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> All right. So much. Thank you so much, Dee. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right, you guys. That was my very special guest, Miss Talia Moore. Yes, indeed. Um, I hope that you guys are getting more excited and wanting to be a part of this. Talia, you can hang out if you can. I'll be back with you in a second. Um, that you guys um, are want to be a part of this. And like I said, if you can't get on Clubhouse, then go to the Facebook page and check it out so that you can be a part of it. OK, you guys. All right. Um, real quick. We are also celebrating Black History Month. And today. Uh, today's featured artist is none other than my girl. Hold on. Let me take this off of here. None other than my girl, Zuri J, our VIP, who is always on here, VIP of the day. So here is Zuri's um, design for Black History Month today. 
Today's EFPU Black History Moment is brought to you by Zuri Johnson of Zuri FX, highlighting the work of inventor Sarah Boone, who was born January 1, 1832 and died in 1904. She was an American inventor who on April 26, 1892, obtained a United States patent for her improvements to the ironing board. Boone's ironing board was designed to improve the quality of ironing sleeves and the body of women's garments. The board was very narrow, curved, and made of wood. The shape and structure allowed it to fit a sleeve and it was reversible so one could iron both sides of the sleeves. Boone was one of four African-American women inventors of her time who developed new technology for the home. Sarah Boone, an African-American hero.